In this video, we are going to take a look at an overview of how scalable vector graphics or SVG files are supported in Unity. The release of Unity 2018.2 introduced the brand new SVG file importer, which allows us to create sprite assets with a very small file size that will retain their quality at any resolution. The SVG importer supports the most common features of the SVG 1.1 specification, such as gradients, fills, clipping paths, dash lines, and also rounded corners. We have got a couple of quick steps to take before importing the SVG files into our project, so let's go through them. First and foremost, we have to make sure that we are running Unity 2018.2 or newer. If you don't have it installed yet, you can grab the latest build of Unity through Unity Hub, which is linked in the description box of this video. Secondly, when we are running Unity, we are going to choose Window and then Package Manager, and then click the Alt button to browse all packages available. Here, we are going to choose Vector Graphics and then click Install. After Unity finishes importing the vector graphics package, we are now able to import SVG files into our project. The importer allows us to import SVG files the same way we import other assets. So either via drag and drop, or using the import new asset dialog in Unity. And after the asset is imported, we can use the sprite in our game. SVG files that are imported in this manner can be used with most 2D tools in Unity, However, in Unity 2018.2, vector-based sprite meshes are not supported by Unity UI canvases. Now, when we import an SVG file into Unity, it's tessellated or converted into triangles for display as a mesh. As we can see, the curves are all very smooth, and we can also zoom in a good amount before starting to see any triangulation artifacts. The tessellation process occurs when we import an SVG file into the Unity editor, However, it can also be done in the player at runtime. This means that we can target specific device requirements and generate sprites at a resolution that will work well on a range of platforms while still retaining a small file size. We can also adjust the tessellation settings in the inspector window when we highlight the SVG asset in Unity. We have two choices for tessellation settings. Basic or Advanced. When using Basic, we only need to provide a target resolution and a zoom factor. Then the importer automatically configures the advanced settings to make sure our SVG document renders at a high enough tessellation for that resolution while taking the zoom factor into account. And if we want full control over the tessellation process, we can pick advanced and adjust the properties. The most important setting here is the step distance. A smaller step distance will result in smoother curves by adding more triangles. Speaking of which, by using the advanced settings, we can also avoid over tessellating and save memory, CPU, and GPU resources. During the tessellation process, make sure you create only the needed complexity of your mesh for your game and target platform. Using vector graphics like this can offer efficiency gains in terms of file size and performance. If we had to use large textures for sprites in our games, we would potentially be using larger amounts of memory. But since vectors only need to store shape data as splines, they can be much more memory friendly compared to textures. For example, if we were to have a screen wide vector circle, it would only cause us a few hundred bytes and look very sharp. Meanwhile, trying to achieve the same size and quality with a bitmap texture might require 1080 pixels resolution texture, which might cost us around 4 megabytes. Additionally, on smaller resolutions, we recommend you enable MSAA or multi-sample anti-aliasing to get smoother outlines for vector shapes. To do this, we can enter Edit, Project Settings, Quality, and change the anti-aliasing to one of the multi-sample options. So now we're able to create our art once and ship our game on multiple devices without recreating it or having multiple sets of textures for each target platform. This gains both production efficiency and has the potential to deliver a much smaller collection of assets on disk to your players. So hopefully this video was helpful for you to see how the new SVG importer works. To learn more about Unity's SVG support, please see the information linked in the description.